Hey guys, thanks for stopping by to check out our new freshwater video inventory update. We just got a shipment from Florida. Some really nice fish to take a look at today. Here we've got some real nice liar tail swords. Uh, variety these guys are about uh, two and a half, three inches. Uh, good community fish, do well, and these are a live bearer as well, so they will have live babies if you got males and females, which is pretty cool for little ones. Here we've got some pretty uncommon, these are Pinoy blusher angels, uh, a variety you don't see real often. Um, these guys uh, get big like all the other angels do, about four or five inches max size in their body when they're full adults, and they will do well in most community tanks as long as there's nothing in there that's going to uh, nip their fins, such as some of the barbs, things like that. We've got some nice uh, gold garamis. These guys are about two and a half to three inches. Another great community fish. Does well with uh, most others. Um, be a little bit aggressive towards each other if you have too many males or something together. So uh, ask for males and females if you're getting more than one. We got some nice uh, velvet swords here. Good size on these guys as well. These are about uh, three and a half inches, four inches for some of the bigger ones there. Um, also another live bear. Great community fish. Does well in a community tank. Anything from uh, 10 gallons and up. Nice selection of uh, smaller mixed veil angels here, a bunch of different varieties. We got marbles, uh, there's some silvers, some smokies, uh, might even be some uh, solid golds in there. Yeah, nice, nice variety there. These guys here are uh, Dreamsicle uh, mollies. These are another nice live bearing fish. These guys uh, are a little bit on the larger size, about four inches on these guys. Um, another fish that will do great in a community tank, does well with pretty much anybody else, non-aggressive. Um, and they'll be fine in smaller tanks of about 10 gallons on up on those guys is a good size. If there's anything here you like, give us a call at 414-546-2201. We'll put it on hold for you for 24 hours. We've got some nice uh, black angels here. These guys' uh, bodies are about quarter size on these. A nice selection. Uh, have been a little bit harder to get this year for some reason. And uh, we got a nice shipment in. we got a couple tanks of them, so they're doing great. And uh, another great uh, community fish. Here we've got some very popular neon tetras. Common community fish. Does well in schools. As you can see, they like to hang out together. Um, and these guys will do fine in, in smaller tanks, five gallons on up. Nice smaller uh, iridescent sharks here. These guys are about two and a half to three inches. Um, active fish, as you can see, always moving around, so they do well in a tank with a lot of swimming room. And they do get large, uh, two feet in a larger tank. If you got something like 125, they will get pretty good size. And they do well in, in community tanks. Uh, sometimes even with semi-aggressive tanks, they'll be fine too. Some South American cichlids, things like that. Also got in some nice uh, blue Mickey Mouse platies. Uh, you can see the Mickey Mouse uh, head shape on their tails there. Um, these are a nice teal blue color. Uh, also another good community fish, a live bearer as well like the mollies and the platies. They'll do well in a community tank. Over here we got some calico platies. These are a pretty cool variety, kind of like a painted sword almost, but they got a little bit of a gold fleck to them. Um, nice fish. These guys are about uh, two and a half inches, two to two and a half inches. Also a great community fish. Does well with uh, most others. Not aggressive and uh, will do fine in smaller tanks as well. Also got in some medium size um, placosmus, five to six inch placos, as well as feeder ghost shrimp, uh, which are very popular. And some smaller placos too, about uh, two to three inch placos here as well. Great algae eaters, do well in a community tank, and those guys will also be good size if you have them in a larger tank. We've got some more of the iridescent sharks. These guys are a little bigger, three to four inch on these guys. Same as the others, do well in most community tanks, and uh, we'll be finding semi-aggressive tanks as well. Pineapple swords, another nice live bear. These guys uh, do well in a community tank as well, non-aggressive, and uh, they will be fine with most other fish. Uh, these guys are about two and a half to three inches. You can also check out our postings on when we get new shipments in on the fishfactoryonline.com. We've got some more of those assorted angels here. It's fishfactoryonline.com, you can see what's coming in, when it's coming in, and what we got in. Uh, pretty cool feature on our website. Here we've got some nice serpe tetras. These guys are an excellent uh, hardy starter fish. They do great in uh, smaller tanks as well. Also like to school, hang out in groups. Um, these guys are about an inch and a half at the moment. Here we've got some giant garamis, this one you don't see real often. These are pretty cool fish. They do get awfully large. They get about two feet when they're full grown in a larger tank. Um, and they are community fish. They can get a little bit aggressive, so you want to be a little bit care careful what you keep them with, and they'll eat whatever they can fit in their mouth when they do reach that larger size. But for now, nice fish with some nice uh, blue, blue and red uh, coloration on them. Black mollies, another very common, uh, popular uh, community fish. 
does well in a community tank. Smaller tanks, 10 gallons and up, will be fine. Um, these are also live bears. They will have live babies. Yeah, some of those uh, dreamsicle mollies. Let's see. Uh, electric blue lobsters here. These guys are excellent bottom feeders, help keep the bottom of the tank clean. You can see the color out of them. They make a nice uh, showpiece animal for in the tank. And they're generally non aggressive. If there's something a little small that they happen to be able to catch, they might, but typically you can keep them in a community tank um, as long as you don't have anything real delicate in there. Let's see. Uh, here we got some nice pink. Uh, Kissers, kissing grommies. These guys are uh, called that because they pucker their lips, like look like they're kissing. Let's see if I can get one doing it in here. And nobody wants to cooperate right now. Cool fish, uh, another community tank fish. They'll do fine with others. Um, they get about six to eight inches when they're full grown. Um, pretty nice fish, nice showpiece fish as well. And here we've got some real nice large uh, tiger barbs. Great community fish, uh, like to be in schools. They can be a little bit aggressive as far as tail nipping, so you want to be a little bit careful what you keep them with. Um, if you only have a few of them, uh, you want to put them with angels or something like that with longer fins. Um, but excellent hardy fish that do great as a starter fish for new tanks as well. And in the cichlid room, we've got a couple new cichlids that came in that are nice. we got some Geophagus hecalis here. These are a South American, non-aggressive South American cichlid. These guys are pretty cool. They get about uh, six, eight inches when they're full grown. And the color's just starting to come out on them. They get kind of a uh, fluorescent blue, green um, flecking to the sides of their bodies. Nice fish, one you don't see real commonly. And then we also got in some real nice larger uh, festivum cichlids. These are a non-aggressive cichlid. Um, they'll do fine in a community tank, even with angels, things like that. Uh, like a little bit warmer water. These guys are about four inches at the moment. Cool fish. Uh, these guys will uh, do great in planted tanks. They'll really make them color out. Real nice fish, one you don't see real commonly. All right, guys, thanks for stopping by to check it out. Hope you have a great day, and uh, we'll talk to you soon.